What's up guys, Haleon here, and today we are gonna be unboxing Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers that I got from Art Sabers, and these are my first very nice lightsabers, like really nice lightsabers. I saw my buddy Prion Johnny um, had a really nice Luke Skywalker Jedi lightsaber, and I thought to myself I have never owned a really nice lightsaber and Ahsoka Tano is one of my favorite characters oh wow okay this is my first time seeing any of this I waited for you guys I got this a few weeks back actually and I just I haven't opened it what's what's in the box um, this is a really nice case too wow this is so cool these are a lot like the girth of them is a lot bigger than um, what I thought it would be from looking on the website. And I got the uh, a smaller one, the Shoto, I think is what it's called on the website. But here they are side by side. So I got the 80 to 72, which would be like equivalent to like 28 and 30 inches or something. Uh, I'm not sure on the math, but these are the Xeno, or sorry. These are the Xeno V2 soundboards. Sorry, the Xeno uh, Xenopixel V3 board. These are the Neopixel, as you can see, um, the uh, Neopixel strip blades. I'm not gonna duel with these. These are just for twirling. I have another lightsaber that I, a base lit that I use for dueling. It comes with um, these hex tools. Came with uh, blade plugs and the manuals. One of my favorite Star Wars characters. I would say my two favorite Star Wars characters is Ahsoka and uh, Kit Fisto. We got some more tools and stuff here. USB adapter here for your um, for your memory card. Got two chargers here. Oh, cool! Another um, USB adapter for the card. And then it's got some um, display stand things that it came with and instructions on how to change the, um, the code on the uh, side of the case here. Really nice case. It also says, um, may the force be with you on the bottom of it, which is a really nice touch. I did not know that. Okay, so let's um, get these unwrapped. Wow, these are so nice. I paid a lot for these too. They're, um, I almost don't even want to say, but they were $730 for these, but I believe they're on sale right now for $630. Guys, this is so nice. Here they are together. Oh, cool. So like if you're if you have this on your left, the activation, they placed it really nicely for your thumb and for right-handed people, if you're using this on your right hand, the longer one, um, they placed the uh, power button there too. Cool. I'm pretty sure these aren't charged. Power power on. Okay, maybe they are. Moon field. What? Candy blade. Um, I'm gonna go through the manual. Also in this video, I am gonna be taking these um, outside in the dark. And I gotta go through the manual and like figure out how to um, operate this and all the different modes and stuff like that. Then I'll get back to you guys. The other one is charging right now, but I just wanted to show you guys the details, like even inside the, um, like inside the hilt itself. Like, look at that. That is amazing. The other one looks like this too. So yeah, it does look like you have to take it apart to uh, to charge it there. But yeah, I'll get them all charged up and then we'll go outside and twirl with these. What's up guys? Okay, so there's a lot to these lightsabers, um, more than I was expecting. Uh, so I got some reinforcement to help me uh, demonstrate these lightsabers. 
And we've actually come to run into an issue. Okay, so with these Ahsoka Sabers, the smaller Shota one ignites just fine, but this longer one, it's kind of weird. It doesn't seem to seat right, like, and then when we try and turn it off, oh. yeah, it's not. Oh, now it doesn't even turn back on. Yeah, like it's something about the connection. And we know it's not the blade, because if I flip the blade, let me, um, we'll do like a... Get him swapped. Yeah, let's swap this. We know this blade is fine because it works with the Shoto. Yeah. And I'm going to put this here. And uh, these are from Art Saber, correct? Yes. Yeah. So let's try this again. Not on, but then when I wiggle it, it's on, but then when we try to turn it off, it doesn't like retract, turn it back on again. It's like weird colors come out. There's something about the connector piece here that on this specific hilt, not the blade. And we know this blade is fine because it works well with this one. And just to make sure that this longer blade is not a problem, we're gonna and Sometimes put, when we turn off this hilt- It gets the, stuck. The uh, light stays on, but yeah. the sound and everything turns off, but the light stays on. So let's- uh... See, this blade is fine. Even when I wiggle it, nothing. And this, this hilt does weird <laughs> stuff. So what's cool here is you only had it for a month, right? Yeah. Yeah, you had it for a month and I know Art Saber covers a warranty, so you might have to return this hilt just to get it fixed by them, so. But we'll still show you guys like what it looks like uh, in the dark. All right guys, this is what the lightsabers look like at night. Oh no. <laughs> I know you gotta get used to like uh, tap. I think you're in volume mode. I know. Volume high. And, and um, one of the things about these lightsabers, is, uh, I'm not used to like the timing, and it's kind of picky actually. I just tried to turn it on, but it went to the volume instead. But anyways, here it is. better at twirling than I am because I don't practice as much but you guys think pretty cool right we just gotta work on that issue with the uh, the longer hilt um, yeah I'll either get it sent in or something try to practice is it like on a drag motor? yeah because I'm all, my hands on the button oh okay. yeah Form, dude. Like, I feel oh well, I'm a, I'm a lefty, so do it mirrored. So like, start with it out. Yeah. Let it drop, and then you're gonna basically make a circle. Yeah. And then next, you're gonna make a circle this way. That this is the part where I feel awkward, like when I have to. Yeah, you, it's it's just a scoop. Yeah. Cause you just kind of right. Yeah, the thing is, is you just want to make sure that it like goes down the plane and then you just like zoom it from, you know? So it's, like, when you first start doing it, it's like, you have like this thing going on, it's like where you're not like really going really high with it, but once you understand that you have to go high. Yeah, that's yeah. the part where I'm like messing up. But sometimes it feels awkward, but it, it looks fine. Yeah. So you just gotta... Basically, you want to be like kind of like parallel like this. Okay. Yeah. And then bring it. If you don't pivot, you can hit your leg. Like if you're just like some people are able to do it without like moving, but there's a risk of like actually like hitting your leg. Okay. I don't have much practice with the reverse one. That's so cool. But yeah. Let me see the shuttle one real quick. Yeah. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do two plays. Yeah. I can see the long tilt one is going kind of yellow sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Get it again. The thing is, because they're not the same size, it's kind of kind of difficult. <laughs> well, those are the Ahsoka lightsabers at night. Um, stop by pre on. <laughs> stop by lightsaber culture and check out pre on Johnny's channel. I'll leave it in the uh, description box. The link in the des description box below. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>